All right, so learning factual stuff can be a little bit of a pain uh, when it comes to very new topics that you're learning for the first time. And there are a lot of factual stuff in that topic and that sort of becomes a little bit difficult when you're trying to remember, when you're trying to recall those factual stuff. Um, so in this video, I'm going to tell you two things that I do to remember these factual stuff that I get, the factual uh, uh, the factual things that I get inside a topic and you know it sort of simplifies to quite an extent the facts that I'm trying to learn or trying to memorize. Now the first thing that I want to tell you is mnemonics. Now all of you probably know about mnemonics and if you don't know mnemonics are something like you know you make an absurd sentence and from that sentence, you pick up some letters or some alphabets and that sort of relates to what you are trying to learn or trying to memorize. Right, that sounds a little bit complicated, so I'm going to give you an example. All of you have uh, read about the different kinds of amino acids, right? We have the aliphatic amino acids, we have the aromatic amino acids, um, we have the different charged amino acids. Now let's say you want to learn the um, aliphatic nonpolar amino acids now there are seven of them um, so what i did i sort of created a sentence for myself um, the sentence is great artists made paintings in lost villages now this is sounding a little bit absurd but let me clear it out um, First of all, I was reading a fantasy book and there was something uh, related to this uh, which I was reading and I, I, I took that out of the book and made it uh, and made the sentence which is probably helping me to remember the amino acids. Now if I look at the sentence, great artists, great artists G and A, glycine and alanine, made paintings M and P methionine and proline um, in lost villages in its i isoleucine lost l leucine and finally villages v its value so you have all of the seven um, different amino acids in the aliphatic group uh, non-polar aliphatic group with one sentence right so great artists made paintings in lost villages so this is how you can make a lot of absurd sentences and can you know remember the stuff that is actually important from your subject and this applies to all the subjects not only in biology all right so mnemonics was the first one and the second one is the power of storytelling now Storytelling can be, you know, something you can make up a scene. Uh, it can be absolutely absurd. It should, uh, I mean, the more absurd you make, the more better you remember. So you can make up a scene and you can relate that scene to something very complicated. So let's say, for example, what I did. Um, you all have read about the different protein modifications that goes on inside the various organelles and particularly the protein modifications that goes on inside the Golgi apparatus. There are a lot of different kinds of modifications that goes on. So in my scene, I have three, uh, three different characters. The first one is phosphate. The second one is mannose and the third one is uh, galactose so these are my three characters phosphate mannose and galactose so the scene starts with phosphate went on to social network and was checking his friend list he found his friend list and saw that there was a person named mannose whom he wanted to remove while removing he noted a glitch in the system Therefore, he called up Galactose, who was sitting on a chair. Galactose said to remove the glitch, you need to add a sulfate. So this is the whole thing. Now, the first line, it was <coughs> phosphate went to social media to um, 
check his friend list now this is just the first compartment of the colgy that is sys uh, sys network a uh, sys colgy network that is uh, th- that is the place where phosphorylation is occurring that is why phosphate is uh, phosphate is mentioned in the first line the second line he found a person called manos whom he wanted to remove so the second compartment is called cis uh, cistern cis colgy cistern so in the second compartment removal of manos takes place the third one is medial cistern the third compartment over there the line was he noted a glitch in the system noted a glitch in a g in acetyl glucosamine so in acetyl glucosamine or nag is added in the medial compartment then comes the trans sister the compartment and what i said he called he called galactose who was sitting on a chair so galactose is added and also along with galactose sitting on a chair that sort of translates to sialic acid so sialic acid and galactose is added in the fourth compartment and finally in the fifth compartment it is very simple like i said like i said the uh, the galactose said uh, add, just add a sulfate so sulfation in the fifth compartment so through this whole story you remember every event that is going on inside the golgi apparatus right from the very beginning from the uh, cis golgi network till the trans golgi network and you do not have to sweat it you know it's i mean this 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 whole scene i have made it so it is obviously it is absurd because i have made it first of all and secondly you know you can mold it to something that you uh, i mean you can mold it to anything that you want it's it, it uh, i mean there is no boundary you have to use my scene or my lines only the i mean that is not a compulsion so you can make your own stuff and have fun with it and you know this is how you can remember factual stuff very easily the first one is mnemonics the second one is through the power of storytelling thank you so much i'll see you in the next one bye bye